everybody. Nice to see y'all again. Welcome to a brand new episode of Wrap It Out. Today I got a super different, a great episode today for y'all. A incredible dynamic duo who is somewhere in here. And they'll speak with you shortly. But until they come up, hopefully they do. You there still? No. Hey man. Just... Oh, good. All right. <laughs> just want to make sure you're still there. Okay. Yeah, anyway, pass that. So, y'all two, why don't you go introduce yourself to the audience out there? Yo. Uh, yeah. uh, you go first, sir. You can go first. Yo, you already know it's your boy, Serby GP. Same living Massachusetts, trade out gutting Haiti. You already know. I'm Sosa, you know, from the same island, from Haiti. Uh, I'm in Irvington, Jersey, you know, living that Jersey life. I'm just wrapping it up, I guess. Mm. Nice job, nice new introductions. All right. Let's get back to the awkwardness and move on to something a little more action. All right. So we're going to be traveling back to time a little bit. And I kind of want to know your history. So let's start off with this. How did the journey, how, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm starting, my bad. I meant, how did the journey with music start for you? Uh, for me, I think I started watching a lot of boy bands back in the day. And I'm not even joking. And I, I was like, if they can make it, I can make it too. Then... I went to puberty, I couldn't sing, so I started rapping, and, you know, I'm here, and I'm making music with my best friend, you know? Oh, wow. Hey, oh. <clears throat> so I make music way back in, like, fucking elementary school, I don't even remember when, but Sosa actually so support me on that music shit. Like, here. we used to, like, I used to be bad at rapping. Like, we used to just sing for the class. We graduated eighth grade. We had a whole shit written up. We sang out of graduation. Then, yeah. boom, you know, we just, like, evolution. We just got better and shit, you feel me? Every year, we just keep growing and making more music, you know? So, like, 2021, we're dropping music. And like, people- this year, bro, this year, bro, I saw gas, no breaks, bro. Like, I ain't, like... Like, we don't even have half of the, what we working on right now out, bro. Like, this shit is just a big game, bro. Like, I'm talking about straight E, though. Oh, wow. I'm so excited for y'all's future project. And I'm just also blown away that you started out singing and then rapping, because that's, that's actually sort of like me in a way. But anyway. Anyway, let's. Let's mosey along. Um, all right. So what was the trigger point that made you decide to get into music? Well, I, could, like I, I could say is that I think I think I watched like I said, I watched a lot of like like musicals, like and a lot of TV, like, a lot of seeing people like doing music and I'm like, wow. That's that seemed like cool, you know. Like I want to try it. Like if they can do it, why can't I? That was my starting point. Like making music, to be honest. No, but ah, uh, I don't even know. It's a long story. Though. Like I feel like I'm a big fan of Kodak. Kodak inspired me to make what I'm doing right now. Like Kodak is really my role model and everything. I really feel like like that's where like I get it from. Like I like Kodak put me into that music shit. Like to some niggas in my school used to like make make music and little raps and shit like that. Dude. Like it just motivated me. Cause I know some niggas out here though, like fucking blue face niggas ass. We better than <laughs> those niggas. Like we better than six nine, fucking blue face, whatever those niggas are. Like we just need like the the like like they got the cloud. Like we just need the cloud, bro. Like 
for real. Like, there's some shit, though. If we, like, sometimes I'll be waking up, like, okay, like, we get, like, thousands of plays, like, 60, 50, 20 of plays. Okay, that's cool. But, like, sometimes I wake up, like, I don't really feel no motivation to sing. Because, like, those niggas out here dropping sh- shit, uh, like, fucking shit music. They get millions of plays. But we out here actually doing some shit good, though. But we don't have the clout. It's like it's like this crazy sometimes. Like sometimes I just feel like giving up and shit. I feel like that too. all the time, all the time. I like, all that, recent, like our recent song that we dropped, like I think is one of our best project that we've ever dropped. And like I mean, we got we got a couple thousand plays there, but like it has the potential to be bigger than it is, to be honest. Hmm. I see. And I totally agree with your point of view with music. I totally agree. I mean, I don't record music. I'm a songwriter. But in y'all's point of view, I totally agree. I come from a world where there's a lot of recording artists around me. So they definitely feel the same way. So anyway, let's ignore, let's uh, erase the silence. Okay. So I want to kind of know your big inspiration. So what inspired you to get into music? Uh, for me, I'll I'll say it's it's two artists that really pushed me because I used to always write music. I was like a songwriter, but like like recording music, I was never into. I'll I'll say two artists. I'll I'll always say thank for them, like for bringing me to recording music. It's Jordan Lucas and Juice World, to be honest. Like, I love the melodic, mel- hear melodic, like, music. Plus, I could hit, like, I like listen to a guy that come on the beat and just spit, you know? I try to incorporate both of them in my music, but most of the time I come out sound like Juice World a little bit, you know? Because uh, I try that melodic shit a lot, but, you know, uh, every day by day. I, I, I try, I'm, I'm trying to put out music, like, Joiner, where I come on a beat and I'm just like spitting like bars after bars, but you know, shit happens. No, but what what really put me into music though is uh, fucking like I don't know, like I've been through so much shit. I like I want people to feel like what I've been through. Like besides Kodak, like I just said that. Besides Kodak and like Hot Boy and all those Haitians that represents Haiti though, that just boosts me up. Like bro. Like, you know, I was born there, raised there. Like, I want to represent, too. Like, I want to, like, because most of these niggas rapping about Haiti, though, they ain't really never been in Haiti. But I really been to Haiti, so, I like, I want to do something and go help. And go help in any type of way that I can. Because, like, no bullshit, bro. When you look at, when you look at the fucking internet, though, they only show the bad side of Haiti, though. Like, they don't see a good side. And I just want to, like, show the good side, like, just help Haiti and, and, like, just, just, like, show people, like, what, like, what Haiti really is, you feel me? Like, I want, like, where I'm from, bro, there's a lot of people here that's fucking grateful to go to school, food, all that shit, though, so I've been through a lot of shit in Haiti, I got saying, I've been through a lot of shit in Haiti, so I feel like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna speak for them, bro, like, I wanna, I wanna, I just wanna tell my story. Oh, man, well. Okay, I just I just gotta take that in. Wow. First of all, I'm just really proud that you guys wanna, you know, represent Haiti. They could really use it. They could really use your support. That's really that's really powerful. I mean we're we're the we're the new generation. We're supposed to help the uh, I mean you what's your name? What's your name musically? What's your name? Yeah, my uh my artist name is musically. Uh, musically, like I was saying, like, bro, like it's just like, like you, you, like, I'm not gonna say if because I know we about to blow up, like, we just need to focus more. Like, I was telling so, so, like, two days ago, like, we just, like, you know, what I'm it's not easy, like, it's a lot of money, you gotta pay for a beat, gotta pay engineer, gotta pay for everything, gotta pay for promotion for mad shit, mm-hmm. like, sometimes though. Like, sometimes you, you make the money back, but sometimes you don't, you feel me? Because you don't have a fan base. Because, like, the fan base is what really matters, to be honest, at the end of the day, though. You can drop a fire-ass music, 
But if you don't have a fan base that's loyal to you, that whatever you drop, they gonna tap in, then they just fucked up. But like, maximum five years, bro. I'm not gonna say if we do, cause I know it. We just gotta put in more work. But maximum five years, I like guess. Five years, bro. Like we. Like, we take over. We don't take over. Like, we won't take over. Like, everywhere is sleep on us, bro. It's it's just like. Mm -hmm. I kind of see where you're coming from. I, I, I definitely see it. All right. Let me just take a breather. All right. Okay. Here comes something fun. Okay, let's go a little alternate. Okay, so what would happen if you were not a musician? If you were not a musician, who would you be then? Um, damn, that's a that's a hard one. Uh, nah, but I ain't gonna lie. To you. Like, I mean, like. I would say soccer because I'm pretty good at soccer. Like I got a full scholarship for I got a scholarship for soccer. Like I I'm really good at soccer. I'll probably say a soccer player, but I'm also in college too, taking business and law, and I've always wanted to be a lawyer, but I guess I'd be a soccer player if if if, if I didn't make it pro while I was in college. You know, I'd probably go with a lawyer or businessman or some shit like that. Yeah. For me, I'll probably say what I'm studying in college right now, become a computer scientist, an intern at some firm, whatever, and design websites and applications. And that's probably what I'll be doing, to be honest. But I felt like those type of jobs, they lack a little bit of freedom. That's why I choose, I love music, you know? I can choose and put out whatever type of music I want, you know? Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I could see uh I could see a porn band. I'm just shocked you guys wanna be those things. I mean, no offense, just um I'm just shocked because of uh, I'm just very shocked. I mean, look at this computer scientist. Like, are y'all doing big stuff? Totally big stuff. All right. Now let's get into more fun. Okay. So since you guys are about to blow up, what would you, what would be your dream collaboration? Uh, the dream collaboration. Uh, sorry, is it for is it you and Kodak? Yeah, basically collab. Who would you want to collab with? Collab with. Uh, I'll say Drake. Oh, my I'll say Drake. I was a new but but. But yeah, um, fucking Kodak for sure. Kodak or Jack Moore. So you kind of call you Like, for sure. Oh, sure, for sure. Like, Kodak, that's it. Uh, I'll, I'll say Drake, bro. Okay. That Drake. That 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 Drake feature, bro. It's it's it's. Well, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, but I said Kodak for sure. Like Kodak, Jack Boy, or Hot Boy. Like for sure, for sure. Kodak <laughs> will make it. Kodak will do it. Bro, that Drake feature, that that shit's gold, my nigga. It's either you, you blow up from a Drake feature or you suffer from a Drake feature, bro. But it's no, but like it's better. really not about the feature, like. Yeah, I understand, but like, yo, but like, look at look at this. Yeah. Like I said, you can either blow up from a Drake feature, or you could suffer from it. Like, what's that guy that made the song "Look Alive" with Drake? Like, yeah, he boy, suffered. Block, block, boy, yeah, block, he boy. suffered because, like, after that, bro, he didn't really like he didn't really have an it like a hit after that. Yeah, like, bro, Lil Dirk, like, num like numbers doubled after that Drake feature. So look at this, bro. Like, you know, out of nowhere, Drake was like, yo, Sosa, let's make a song together. 
I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Or Eminem, the like Eminem too. Wow, another Eminem fan. I think I've heard about 10 Eminem fans now. But the Drake one's new, and the other artists, uh, she said, that's new. I swear, everybody loves Eminem. I and mean, blame them. He's a goat. I mean, he's a goat. Mm-hmm. And I definitely see their point. I listened to his music a few times. Not bad. All right. Um, and I can't wait for your little answer. I already know what your answer is going to be, but I can't wait to see how you explain it. Um, have any of you ever gone through a writer's block? Uh, yes, I did. I, uh, it, it's, to be honest, I hate it, to be honest. It's like, I'll have my course and then like, I'll be stuck on the verse because like, I don't want to be like one of those mumble rappers just say anything and like, uh, and then just go in the studio and just record that shit. I like being like, whatever, whatever lyrics I spit, it has to mean something, you know? I, I think I spent like three or four months on the writer's block. I couldn't write anything. Uh, the I think the thing that cured it is that I got in a relationship and then we broke up and I think that fixed it, to be honest. And then no, I found bro. new material and help, that helped me, to be honest. Mm-hmm. All right. That's a good way to get up a rice block, though. Uh, but, um, see, I feel like, like, um, like if I don't, if I don't write, like if I don't write, like if I don't write, I feel like, I feel like if I don't, like if I start making music, like I'm probably doing something else. Like probably stop because of like shit, like school shit, like work or fucking soccer. Like I don't really like that, but. Usually when I like some just slow teach I shit with my best friends and shit, it just make my music kind of like better. Cause like, I just, I don't know. Like it makes you think and shit. So like your music is way better, you feel me? Like, but sometimes like Sosa said too, sometimes bro, you can write a whole song, get a verse and everything and a hook and you don't even know what to name your song. Yeah, that's you don't know the title. Ooh. Like that's the worst part. You can make a song and don't know what to name it. Like, that's one of the hardest shit in making the music. You get like, a hook, you song, get a verse, you gotta and then you don't catchy. know what to say. Like, the title got to be catchy, you know? It's like, it can't be, like, some, like, a full sentence type song. You got to, you could be, like, two words or one word. Like, it's just that thing. Sometimes it's just so yeah. hard to find. Because like, in your course, you got to find that one word. And be like, damn. Yeah, like, this one shit. word that you keep repeating and over and over again. You got to, like, it's just hard, like. It's just hard to find a title to the music sometimes. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. Because totally at the same time, too, like, if you do it the opposite way, like, if you say, okay, I'm going to name this song, let's say, um, Sad Days. So now you're going to be like, damn, like, now I have the title, I won't be able to write the music. I'm not, I guess I'm just, not the- it's just the same thing. Like, if you know the title, then the music is going to be harder for you to write. But you can write the music, and the title is Mad Hard Feel Fine. Like, it's just, like, the same thing, right, basically. I'm not going to lie. I've done that in the past where, like, I have the title but not the song. I think yeah, that's why before I make a song, I don't, I don't name it anything. I just listen to the beat and, like, for, even for the beat, I don't even put a name for the beat. Because I know if I put a name for the beat, then I'm going to have to go by the name I put for the beat. I just put, like, some fucking emojis or whatever. So just so I don't say, okay, this beat is called this, so I gotta make it rhyme with this. Like I just, I just don't name my song until after the song is done, and then I just think about a name to name. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Mm. I like where your heads are. I like your logic. All right. Now that you filled my brain up, it's time we. Um, this is gonna be kind of gross. Um, but I let's take a look inside your brain for just a little sec. We're just gonna travel inside your brain, and it might be a little crazy, but 
Trust me. You really like it. Okay. So, how would you describe the music that you make? All right, I ain't gonna lie. My music, yo, I used to talk about violence. Like, I, not re- like, I don't do it because, like, I'm with it. Like, I, I'm with it, but I don't do it because, like, I don't do it for fun. Like, I do it because, like, where I'm from, that's all, like, it was all about violence. So I'm not saying Haiti's violent. Like, I'm just saying, like, some parts of Haiti, though, like, it's just where you fuck up, where you mess up, then they gonna leave you on the ground, leave your ass on the floor. And where I was from in Haiti, though, like, niggas was really about it. Like, I remember this one time we were playing soccer. And shit got dirty, and some niggas hit me, and I went back to my crib, and my neighbor was like, yo, if you don't go back and hit that nigga up, then we fucking you up. So I had to go back and hit that nigga, boom, and shit got dirty. It's like, my music, though, like, before I met Sosa, like, before me and Sosa, Sosa started working together, though, it was all about violence, like, glock about shooting niggas, about popping pills, fucking bitches, and all that shit. But then... I ain't gonna lie though, those type of music is what people really like though. That's why I kept making it, cause they like when you say whatever in the music, like saying I pop a nigga raw, pop him like a man. Like niggas like, like they really fuck with this vibe. But then I was making a collab with Sosa. Sosa told me like, yo, bro, like too much swear, like too much swears, like you need to chill with it. And then, then boom, I made an EP out of the jungle. I just started talking about like related, more relatable shit. Like, a lot of my face, that's the hit. Like, I don't know why it's so underrated. Like, a lot of my face, I really thought a lot of my face was gonna, like, take off. Like, it did, but not the way I thought it would. Like, worldwide. Like, a lot of my face, I started with a lot of my face, and then the Out of the Jungle EP started saying about more relatable shit. But at the same time, too, like, the violence part always kicks in. Like, it always kicks in. Like, I'll be in the studio. Like, when I was making When I'm Dead, so to give me the beat, the beat, like, fucking three hours before we went to the studio, my phone died, so I had, like, 30 minutes to write. And I just couldn't come up with some, like, deep shit, like, some relatable shit. So, like, the violence part kick in because I was mad hype. I haven't seen my best friend in years. Saw him win the studio. It's a movie. So I was like, damn. I'm about to just freestyle with like well, what a lot of people don't know is that fucking when I'm dead is actually mostly a freestyle. I only had like four, four, four or six boards and the rest was like freestyle, like straight off my head, straight off my head. Like if you look the, behind the behind the thing, like behind the song, you're gonna see everything, bro. It was a whole freestyle, bro. It was a whole freestyle. I could say for me, like my music. It's really based on shit I went in my in my life. To be honest, people say like I'm 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 Mr. Sad Boy. This is the type of music I make. I make the type of music you listen to your car, and then like he's like, "Damn, bro, this bitch really fucked me up." Type shit, you know? Like when you listen to When I'm Dead, and you like when especially the lyrics I'm like saying, I'm like, "Yo, would you miss me when I'm dead?" Like, like. This, those thoughts, like, it goes through, like, everybody thinks about this shit at least once in their life. Like, if I die today, like, who's going to cry? Like, who's going to, like, who's going to look after my mom? Like, who, like, those type of shit, you know? Like, uh, that's why I, I like, like, when I make those type of music, people call me Mr. Sabo. I say I don't really care because people go through a lot of shit and then, like, they sometimes, just a song, they're like, damn, I'm not the only person feeling like this. You know, that's why when I was listening to Juice World and Jonah Lucas, I'm like, damn, some of the shit Juice World was like singing his music. I felt that shit when he said all girls are the same, and I was going through like a whole relationship shit. I'm like, damn, bro, that shit hit me, you know. And I was like, damn, I want to make type of music like when people listen to my my shit, they be like, damn, bro, me and Sosa, we connected. Like, even though I don't know him, but we still connected. I see. I see. That's actually incredible. And I love that you want to make your music so relatable that people have a strong connection with you. And that's that's powerful. That's honestly very powerful. I definitely felt when you said that. I mean, that's, that's amazing. That feeling is absolutely amazing. 
that's, that's why I make music. Try and connect with people, to be honest. I don't like, like me, like, I, I like, I like, like, if I upload a song and it gets numbers, but like, if I can, I could get a, a million views, whatever, but if I can connect with that one person, they be like, damn, I really connected to your song, that's all that really matters. That's, that's very true. I definitely agree with you 100%. Your logic's on point. All right. Now, um, let's get into something a little more interesting. So, I want to know your creative process, and I'll elaborate on that. What I mean by that is how do you write a song? What's your process of writing a song? Um, for sure. me, oh, yeah, go, ahead, so go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, for me, you could go both different type of ways. Like I said, sometimes I would make the cover art and then be like, damn, I gotta write a song about this thing. Or sometimes Serbi might send me a beat, or I go on YouTube and try and find a beat. Like sometimes the beat connects to me. Like and then like the first few words I say, I know it's it's the song. Like for when I was writing when I'm dead, I, the beat yeah, came in. I feel like, you on that. I feel you on that. The beat came in. I was like, I'm like going to say, hey, she called me her man, but I never fucking claimed, hey, since I finished saying that, we already knew what was the song going to be about. You know, it's just sometimes the beat just comes to you and just like, and it's the, I, I don't freestyle. Like I can't freestyle for shit. But sometimes when the beat, when you listen to the beat like one or two times, like those lyrics just come out and then you just, you know, just go go ahead, bro. That's how I write my music, to be honest. Mm. I like where your head uh I like it. All right. Oh, did I say me? Bro, but um, yeah, I'm on music, bro. Um I I I I shh. the process making music. Like Sosa said, you listen to the beat. Like you listen to the beat and the first couple words, but basically before I write my music, I try to find, I try to find the flow first. Like I could be listening to music and just be normally like, mm, 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 mm. like I just say some dumb shit, some random shit. Yeah. Then I just replace those things with words. I just fill them up with words after I'm done. Then that's 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 the first part. You gotta find a flow. First thing when you write music, find a flow and then the words. Like you could yeah, write a you could write a whole shit and it doesn't go with the beat that you feeling like it doesn't just, they just a lot of people like a lot of people make that mistake they'll write the song yeah and then find the beat. Like yeah that, like that doesn't that doesn't work like that now you gotta find the beat first get the flow then write the music I see I'm gonna try that logic one day when. I record a song, which will most likely never happen, but I'll, I'll try the logic. All right. I didn't play with so nice. All right. Now let's do something that's super fun. Do y'all like fun? All right, let's get into it. All right. Since you both are rather apparently, um, we're gonna do something a little different. Since there's two of you, and since you guys are friends, what's what's more fun than a battle? So uh, instead of rhyming it out a verse or a teaser, you guys are gonna actually battle rap. Oh no! Like I told you, I can't yeah, freestyle. Like he not, just said I he can't freestyle. That's not me. Yeah. Like this is gonna kill me. Like that's not me. <sighs> I can't freestyle. You didn't let me explain. You jumped to conclusions. I didn't say freestyle. I meant you display a verse and I see who wins. That's the thing. Uh, Do you want me to go first or I'll go first? I stay ready. Um, What goes around? Uh, Let me go. Let me go. Um, Shit, in this life, you show your love. You won't get hurt. What goes around? Cause back around, you wait your turn. Yeah, in this life, you gonna get hurt. You live and learn. Yeah, in this life, you gonna get hurt. You live and learn. 
It's a little shit on my shit. Uh, nice. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh. Hey. Yeah, it's me again. I know it's been a minute. Just wanted to hear your voice again. So I'm addicted to your voice like some medicine. Hey. That's all I got. <laughs> Was that enough? Is that oh y'all want more? I don't know. Y'all want more? I was just like, eh. uh, I'm shit. always trying my best not to fall in love. I can tell them how I feel. They gonna break my heart, and nobody gonna settle with my flaws. I'm so tired of people breaking my heart. I'm so tired of you bitches breaking my heart. It's so hard to tell the real love from the fake love. But I've been through it, I've been through it, I've been through it all. Even the stars rise right after the fall. There you go. I, I, I got a verse. I, it, it's our song survey. As a, as a lot of my witness, I'm done with these bitches. Wanna talk shit so they speak on my fitness. If we fuck, it's sugar for business. It's sugar for business. Sugar for business. I can bitches in Connecticut, Philly, and Jersey. New Jersey. I fucking hear when I tell her I love it. She said, what you love about me? She said she's not a relationship tied. Told her me too. I'm not gonna lie. Why well, have one when you can have two? Quick two. Ah. Uh, quick two, bro. Yeah, it's uh, a lot, bro. Like, like, if we, like, it's a lot. Like, like, shh. Bro, me and Sturby got, we got so many hit songs, but it's just like, I think one of the things we mostly lack in is promotional. Yeah, yeah promotion. Like, like, on our like, last bro, song, promotion on is our last like, song, I think I, I, we've tried, like, we tried to push out the song, like, I think it's one of the songs we promoted the most out of all the school put out. Yeah, when I'm dead, yeah. Now, I guess, like, it's so expensive, too, though. Like, I feel like they overcharge you, like, they overprice you sometimes. Mm, I see. I like, like it's like it's like it's like even the nigga who can do it, like he won't do it. Like even the nigga who got more clout, he won't do it for some reason. Like, like they just you gotta pay them. Like it's just fucked up. Like if you from my circle, if you know me, and if you really fuck with me, like you say you are, you would actually like repost everything I post, everything I drop, repost them. Because if you're from my circle you're eating too, like I said, I don't care who I knew since day one. I'm fucking who fuck with me. You feel me? Like, I, I could know you since I was fucking five. If you didn't fuck with me, then I could fuck. I could fucking eat with a nigga that I just met yesterday because he's fucking with me. Like, he's showing me love and support and loyalty and shit. You feel me? But to be honest, the biggest issue in this thing is that a lot of times is like you're close. The person that you thought you're close with, even though you're not really friends, friends that like you close with, you talk to, a stranger is gonna support you more than that person. It's 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 funny to be honest. Yeah, like like yeah, you get like I've been getting so much love from new people and not my own niggas, bro. Like it's just I don't know why. I think it's probably cause like a nigga see you every day. Like yeah. you're not you're not you're not a stranger to that nigga. Like that nigga know you, and like you from the same place as him. Like they don't want you to just make it out and shit like that. That's how I think it. Is. Like, strangers be showing more love now, bro. Like, it's crazy. And they don't start supporting you until strangers do. Like, once the strangers start supporting you, like, everybody's like, oh, damn, I'm going to support them too and shit like that, though. Like, it's crazy. Oh, I see. And I definitely feel you because that's how I felt when I first started this whole thing. I was so worried about promotion, but... If you guys are open, I have a few ideas how promotion can be fixed without paying anything. If you guys are open, I have a way you can get, you can promote your songs freely. You know, no charges, no nothing. If you guys are open, that is. What's that? What's, what, what was that? Well... In the wonderful world of Discord, there are servers and servers where you can actually share your music to other people. And when this pop and you know, you can also give me links to your music and it'll be in my description and I'll share it out to my many fans I have. And Discord also allows you to join servers where you can promote your music there. And it's free. No one really charges you for anything. You just share it to your music. I really don't like I don't really know Discord. 
And like the only reason why I download this shit, the sister told me like, oh, that's what's up. And like, I don't even know how to use this card. I don't know shit about this card. And I feel like that's not a type of, like, I'm not saying that's a bad idea what you told us. Like, it's actually a good idea, but like, I feel like we need something bigger. Like, I'm talking about like, Something bigger like World Store, they charge twenty five hundred for a promotion for a fucking post for twenty four hours, just twenty four hours. They they charge 20, like twenty five hundred. Like, that's crazy, but like it's like you gotta think of it like the other way. Like if you pay twenty hundred, twenty five hundred, yeah, that's a lot. But like if thirty thousand people see that post and they fuck with it, like. Then boom, like that's 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 the shit. Like you 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 know at least like you're reaching like fucking like thirty thousand people or like twenty thousand or ten thousand. Like we don't want a promotion for like a hundred fifty people or that shit. Like, like we want something big, you feel me? Mm. Oh, I see. I see where your head's at. I see. Well, I suggest you want to, you know, really blow out to start really small. Discord's are a nice, wonderful place to start and social media. So those two places are really good to start with. And Discord is no big deal because I can, I can teach you how to use it if you want. That is. But yeah, those two are... Um, Discord and social media, you know, Insta, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, those places are really good to start with. So I'm just get, I'm just trying out suggestions for you. Yeah, thank you for us. No problem. No problem at all. All right, any more verses to lay out or Y'all just want to, are y'all like exhausting? You want this to end? Or do you guys want to do a song together? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway. So you just spit your when I'm dead. Oh, right. Um, Yo, sir. Oh my God, it's getting awkward. Okay. Let's just move away from uh, that subject. And um, now, um, now comes the the ending. In TV, it's called end credits. So, is there any last words? Any shout outs? Any advice to kids out there who's just starting out in music? Advice? Uh, all I have to say is that sometimes, you know, it seems really hard. It's gonna get harder and harder. All you gotta do is keep your head high. And just continue going, you know. That's one of the big things I get. Mhm, I totally agree with that, one hundred percent. Wait, what was the question? Oh, uh, okay. Just to repeat again, um, this is what in TV shows and movies call end credits. So, do you have any last words? Any shoutouts? Any? Advice to kids out there who just starting out music, bro. Stay, stop doing drugs. Stop fucking getting like, stop fucking acting stupid. Like, stop fucking acting tough when you're not just to show some soft niggas that you fucking gangster. Like, I know some niggas who be risking their freedom. I think they like they tough, showing that they gangster when they not. That actually makes you stupid. Makes you look stupid. Stay out of trouble. Um, stay in school. Stay away from drugs. And if you like something, just do it. You know, and you know, like fucking, the hate is everywhere. Like, just if you fall nine times, get up ten times and keep going. Don't give up. Mm. All right, all right. Nice to meet you guys. The kids are going to love that. All right. And, you know, just from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. I know a lot of people like to fake being thanks, a fake being thank you about it. Um, but for me, I just want to say thank you for, you know, taking time out to do this interview. I know a lot of people would not do it, but I just want to thank you both so much for, you know, being here and featuring yeah, it's fine. It's okay, you know. 
you know, we all started out, you know, we we want to do this type of things, you know. Uh, like, yeah, plus, we're the one who should thank you because, you know, I, we, you, you're trying to get us out there. You, you, even if it's not big, but you're trying to get us out there. So. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> And y'all out there, thank you guys for watching. Just a few things. Firstly, please listen to the music. A lot of you are forgetting I'm an interview musician, so listen to their stuff. Or they're gonna, or they're gonna, they're gonna do something really horrible to you. I mean, telling by their voice, they seem really tough. And you know what? They told me that if you don't listen to their music, they're gonna come into your house. They're going to. Do something home. I'm not going to say anything else, but um, just do it or else something bad's going to happen to you. JK. And make sure to follow us on social media Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of us to wrap it up podcast. Or you can just Google it, you'll find us there. And, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. And be prepared for more and more to come. No worries. I'll keep you guys updated with everything. And again, please listen to the music. They're absolutely incredible. And if nothing else, I will see you guys very soon. Make sure to tune to all the other episodes that are there. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your time out there. And you know, y'all stay safe, you know. Make sure to be nice to your loved ones. And I will see y'all very soon. Bye, I'll see ya.